Certain investigations we look to recover only doc files from a system or only zip files from a system and we need to actually segregate those. We can actually do that on separate servers. Right? So what am I doing? At the same time, what one system would have taken a couple of hours for each data retrieval and bring that concurrently on the cloud to the body. And then we come to the final part and that is the indexing property. Now, as you can understand, if I give you such a fact book right now, and I ask you to find one particular chapter in that book, do you know where exactly it's located? No. You would have to go page by page through the book traversing to find that particular chapter. But if I give you a book with an index in it, you directly jump to that particular chapter. Now to optimize the process, what I do is, each server would be recovering its data from the image files, and at the same time, I have a third indexing server. What the indexing server does, is it actually, as in runtime, while the forensic machines are recovering data from the image files, my indexing server would actually be indexing the data and I can search through TVs of information in a matter of a few milliseconds. Okay. So at runtime, while data is being recovered, I can index it and search through it as to make it optimization. Now, how do I actually put all this together? You've got your password reading servers, you've got forensic machines, You've got your indexing servers all put together on the cloud. Um, any idea how much these servers cost per hour? Depends on your configuration. A very basic would cost about 8 cents. That's about 3 or 4 rupees per hour. But when it is not required for an investigation, you don't even need it to be online. What you can do is actually going for a server image. So basically what I would do is, I will create my servers, I will create my password tracking servers, configure them, I will create my forensic machines, configure them, and my indexing servers, and configure them. Make images of this, delete my servers, and store my images in cloud files, which is a far cheaper service. It's about 22 cents per GB for a month. That's the type of uh, economics you talk about. So in cloud files, I store this. As and when a case comes out, I immediately invoke my servers from the images, I restore them, and I have a fully functional servers. So, in effect, if you're talking of an investigation, why you've got the case, as soon as the image file has been uploaded to a server, your response time is in a matter of seconds. You've got your servers running in a few clicks, you've got a keywords getting searched in a few clicks, you've got a password getting cracked in a few clicks, the entire forensic network is just deployed within a few clicks. What about the software that in case of that you have one license, how do you multiply two machines? Okay, very good question. Now, out here, as of now, we don't have uh, cloud licensing for forensic software. So, that is a fixed cost that we will be talking about. But what you would be saving on is hardware costs and network costs. Okay. Software, definitely, you would have to spend network Yeah, because you have three servers running for Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Or, or the forensic tools. You would definitely require three licenses. Repairing the licensing agreement again, yeah. but you would definitely require the licenses. Where it's not very expensive is when you're going for distributed password recovery. Yeah, the agent easy. licenses are not free, but you've got a very valid point on it. So that's how, you know, after a few seconds, sitting anywhere in the globe, I can start off an investigation and finish an investigation while on the go. All I need is a toggle. So the benefits that I'm talking about out here, first, Zero capital investment required. Any one of us today, all you need to know is forensics. You can want to walk out of this room and you can start with four investigation servers without any capital. You don't need to invest anything other than the basic software plus. You can do it open source or using freeware, you're set. Second, you're instantly scalable. This happens often with me. In my forensic lab, I have got limited resource. So at times I'm running at full resource, or most of the time I'm running at full resource. What happens when I get a third case? Do you realize this going pipeline, the third case, and that is very expensive. You cannot afford to put cases in the pipeline, and secondly, investigation cannot wait. So in such cases, I do not need to go in for extra infrastructure, which I would not require later on. I immediately scale up to the cloud, I got my images ready, immediately deploy, and I'm good to go, basically. Again, I get based. I get built based on usage that I can directly charge to my client. So I'm not investing anything out here. Whenever the client comes in, I bill him, I get my services, run the servers. If required, I can archive my data, 
at 22 cents per GB per month, that's a very, very cheap rate. You're completely abstracted from the assets of maintaining these systems, upgrading these systems, and actually basically looking after the other power and the other costs. You can investigate from anywhere. You are no longer tied up to that particular forensic lab. You can travel anywhere across the globe while on the move. I can do a complete forensic analysis through my cloud and through my cloud forensic network. I can have distributed password breaking, as I showed you. I can have a distributed forensic network where the entire recovery and searching process is optimized greatly. And I can also have my distributed searching and indexing network. So that basically brings me to the end of my slides. Um, if I'm lucky, my cloud change that up. Basically what I've got in my cloud is an implementation of all that I've spoken to you so far. So if the cloud works on this. How much does it take to depend on the this? The internet speed is still an issue, do you think? There is still an issue there? Oh, on the cloud? Yeah. Oh, on the cloud, I get uh, for downloading around. I, I touched 8 MPPs last night by downloading in the cloud. So that's very good. It is gold. Sorry, nothing. Yeah. It is gold. Actually, I should get. Is there a browser support problem? No, I have a browser. Should not be an issue.
creating the demonstration. But I solemnly swear, I will make a video of the entire demonstration that I was going to show you, and I will be sending the link to Joel, and that's what we shall do. Yeah. So thank you so much.